Instead, the All-American from Florida State and certified badass, the guy you're going to see this weekend, Ron Simmons, challenged Lex Luger for the world title. The finish to this one came when referee Bill Alfonso was knocked down and Mr. Hughes would use the chair on Ron. Afterwards, Luger hit the pile driver on Simmons onto the steel chair, and Barry came out to make the save. You have Hughes, Luger, and Race then beating down Barry in front of the Omni crowd, and that officially completed the babyface turn for Barry Windham. But what really emerged, Arn, as, uh, the, from the entire angle was now Ron Simmons. He is a viable challenger to the world title. I think that's exactly what everyone's looking for at this point. Dusty's working his mojo, booking in the background, and now Ron Simmons is finally now being elevated to that main event picture Talk about that decision and what it meant for Ron. Well, just look at him. And when you're talking about uh, Ron Simmons has got about 10 Hall of Fame rings from diff different, uh, you name it, you know, wrestling, college football, Aloha Bowl, you know. I see him sometimes when he's, I'm sure he's just in a goofy mood. He'll have about six rings on sitting there signing and the thing is though he earned every one of them yeah he's he's a special athlete that comes along just every every 20 years maybe that can just is just so exceptional in every facet of what he does you know he was the best of uh, best college football player obviously in the the country he was voted for for the heisman as a lineman you know, he, he had he had people voting for him for the Heisman for, and they've it's not even an award they give to linemen. You know? Unbelievable. Uh, you know, the guy was told at one point was a 600 pound bencher, and I don't doubt it because I've seen him do ridiculous things with 405 just in the gym, just doing reps in a pair of jeans and cowboy boots and a tank top. I mean, I've seen that. I mean, he was just an animal, and I've said before. When Ron Simmons whips you in for a power slam and you come off, I just, you know, I just felt like a baby in his arms. It was the whip on it, the uh, just the, how easy he did it, and just the, it was just, it's just something that humbles you. When you land, you're just glad to be alive, and it's, you know, and he's a class A gentleman. I've, you know, I've got to. You know, be pretty good friends with Ron over the years, and he's just he's just a special athlete. Now, he's homing in on, you know, attempting to be the world champion, black world champion. That's right. Now, it wouldn't before, happen until the following year, Arm, but uh, he's right now, this is the push. He's, he gets inserted into the title picture from here. He's going to go on to face Luger in a two out of three falls match at Halloween Havoc. So, But this is the moment in time where that starts to happen for him. How cool is that? That's the precursor. Yep, yep. Things to come. So there you go.